DataZoo, we think of ad fraud really in two ways. Um, the first one is someone who's selling an ad impression that has no chance of being seen by a human. Um, you know, typically a bot would be involved in that scenario. The second definition is really someone who's taking inventory, misrepresenting it in the open markets so that they can artificially increase its value. The reason fraud moves so quickly and fraudsters are continually evolving is because there's money to be had and also because we're getting better at, at you know, protecting against them, identifying them, and blocking them out of the ecosystem. It's a very complicated process in terms of where the money flows and how uh, an actual fake impression is sold. The first part is a botnet is infecting real people's computers. Then they're saying we have control over real people's computers, basically who wants to pay for this access. It's then sold to a middleman who is saying to eventually down the line, we have access to computers that can be used for ad fraud. We've created these fake profiles for you. They look perfect and fantastic. When a user comes to the site, they look fantastic. The advertisers often end up in a bidding war for these users because they look so great. Oftentimes they pay a premium compared to the price of a real user. And they're selling you know, four or five different ad impressions per user per page. Uh, and that's kind of how it happens. So I can understand why some advertisers might be tempted to run on a wait list given the presence of fraud. But there's really a couple of reasons why, you know, I would say it doesn't make uh, complete sense in the programmatic environment. One, the goal of programmatic is to be able to reach your customers wherever they are on the internet. It's very difficult to get the scale you need only from websites that you have a direct relationship with because there are millions of websites out there and the log tail is bigger than the short tail. The second piece is, even though you are running on a whitelist, there's still going to be fraud present. Um, you can't protect against fraud in all ways. Even premium websites have anywhere between a 2 and a 5% bot rate. The goal of blacklisting is to say, here are all the places that I don't want my ads to show up. Blacklisting also really limits you. If there's 15% bot rate on a certain site, if you blacklist that site, you're actually missing out, missing out on 85% of the real users that have visited that website. The most efficient place to block fraud and prevent it from entering this ecosystem is really at the source. If publishers or suppliers can actually identify these fraudulent impressions and keep them from becoming part of the supply, then that saves everyone downstream a lot of effort and a lot of time in trying to deal with it. Fraud is an ever-changing game and the uh, approach for a platform should always be to be looking ahead to what's coming. Simply taking the site level approach, either whitelisting or blacklisting is limiting, which is why we believe it's very important to take the impression level and user level approach. We process hundreds of transactions per user per interaction in order to come to a deterministic conclusion where we can say definitively, yes, this user is a bot or no, this user is not. As more money goes into a space there's obviously more opportunities and more incentive for uh, fraudsters to actually commit fraud. It's really a constant arms race between the fraudsters and the good guys. Um, every time we innovate to try and fight back against fraudsters, they come up with something new, and I think that's just gonna continue as we move forward. That being said, we're at a time right now where the industry is really coming together um, in order to fight fraud, to figure out the right solution, to keep it from entering the ecosystem and, and to really flush it out. For me, I'm really optimistic that we're at the tipping point. Um, and that over the next 12 to 18 months, we're gonna continue reducing the level of fraud in our ecosystem down to a, a level that's really manageable and not impacting performance.